Hello, dear student. I hope you have understood well about methods of volume reduction, and today we will continue with the remaining methods in this lecture. Okay, so last lecture we talk about five methods and out of that classification and segregation as well as conservation of water we have discussed and today we will discuss about remaining three methods of volume reduction. So, number three is reuse and recycling of wastewater obviously after treatment. So, there are two segments here, one is reuse and second one is recycling and these both words have different meanings. So, reuse of wastewater literally means use the wastewater for the same purpose from which it has been originated or immersed as wastewater. So, if you do that, that means there is no release of wastewater from it and hence it is very effective methods of volume reduction because whatever wastewater generated you are reintroducing back in the cycle and hence there is no disposal or release of wastewater. Now, this reuse can be without any treatment or with treatments. You can reuse the water for industrial purpose or even from other purpose from which it has been immersed as wastewater. For example, from utility, especially indirect cooling waters, the only pollutant present is heat. Once it is used for cooling purpose, these wastewater are at higher temperature. If you can bring down the temperature, then this wastewater can be readily reused for cooling once again. So, in industrial segment, the reuse of indirect cooling water has very huge potential. It can save up to 95 percent of fresh water intake for cooling only makeup water is required. So, you can see here that reuse of industrial wastewater has twofold savings. First, it reduces requirement of fresh water, hence reduction in cost of fresh water and other is the treatment cost is also reduced. So, this is regarding reuse of wastewater. Now, other path is recycling. Recycling has different meaning than reuse. It refers to use of wastewater with or without treatment for any other purpose except from which it has been originated or immersed. For example, in engineering industry or steel industry, the blast furnace cooling water is used for scrubbing of flue gas. Now, the original purpose of this wastewater, the use was for cooling and the water which emerged after 
it has served its purpose then instead of reusing for the cooling purpose it is recycled for scrubbing of flue gas then in paper making industry the water which emerged as wastewater from paper machine it is also known as white water it can be recycled for soaking of wood in pulp making process it is very very common practice to use treated waste water for gardening okay so instead of using fresh water for gardening you can use treated waste water so like reuse even recycling results in two fold savings that is reduction in fresh water cost as well as waste treatment cost the water which goes to etp that volume is reduced next method is change in process now this refers to some small minor changes in process which will effectively reduce volume of waste water okay now this is very effective method yet it is the most difficult to put into practice so you can pause video and think on various methods of process change which will results in reduction of volume of waste water now the methods of process change to reduce volume of waste so many methods for example use of dry process instead of wet process this can be very effective and there are many examples for this in pickle industry or fry making industry instead of using water that is for peeling of potato wet peeling instead of that dry peeling where you use chemical without any water you can remove the skin from potato then modification of equipment or design so that it will need less water for washing or cleaning this also will result in reduction of volume or use of such cleansing agent which will require less volume of water for removal so the amount of water requiring for cleaning will be less hence there is direct reduction in volume of waste water and the last method for volume reduction that is good housekeeping and i'm sure you all agree with me that simple habit or standard method of operating can have very big revenues so here by maintaining good housekeeping in industry there can be significant reduction in volume of waste water generated or volume of water which enters the drain and very simple example is use of standard operating procedure for all the process as well as training of workers education of workers on use of equipment so the simple measures will result in a very effective 
वे ऑफ रिडक्शन इन वॉल्यूम सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द फाइव मेथड्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम रिडक्शन एंड इन नेक्स्ट लेसन वी विल टॉक अबाउट अनदर एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ रिडक्शन and this is reduction of strength and not volume so see you in the next next lecture thank you everyone